I'm going to tell you five things highly productive people do on Sundays, and we are starting right now. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Taha Khan. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share with you clinic and exam related productivity tips and strategies. If this is your first time here, start now by subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss anything. You see, we all love Sundays and we wait the entire week for Sundays to come, for Sundays to arrive. And not just Sundays, we actually wait eagerly for the weekends to arrive. Everyone loves weekends because in the weekends, we have a lot of time for ourselves. We can watch televisions. We can complete that episode that we were watching on Netflix or that episode that we have been watching on Amazon. Or we can hang out. We can go out somewhere. We can go out shopping. So basically, we all love Sundays. But you see, highly productive people, they do things quite differently. They have habits. They have routines. They have systems and that is why they are so efficient and they are so productive in the things they do. And there is a reason why people say that your week starts on a Sunday. So these productive people even spend their Sundays differently. And you see, I'll tell you something, how a person spend their Sundays tells a lot about their future tells where they are going to be in the next five years. And so I'm going to tell you five productivity habits that is going to help you perform at your peak productivity levels. And don't get confused. These things won't take your entire day. Means I'm not saying you to waste and become a workaholic and waste all your entire Sunday on these undoing works. No, these activities will take you around 30 to 60 minutes only, but it will make your life a lot easier. The first point is setting goals. Now, this will take you only few minutes to perform, but it will make your entire week highly productive. Most of us already have long-term goals. We don't have any long-term goals. Or at least I assume that we don't have any long-term goals. But still, a lot of us fail to achieve this. This is because lack of consistent action on a daily or on a weekly basis. And what is the antidote? The antidote to this is to break your long-term goals into smaller chunks. This way, what will happen is you will have multiple checkpoints where you will be able to track whether you are in the correct timeline, whether you are achieving what is required to achieve this long-term goal. So what actually you are gonna do here is you sit on Sundays for a few minutes and you chalk out few one to three points, one to three goals for your entire week. And what this will do is this will build a goal achievement system for you, which will ensure that you are making consistent actions in the short term. So every Sunday, write down one to three goals that you will be achieving in this week and make sure that these goals that you are setting, these goals that you are writing down, these are precise and to the point and very, very specific. Jaise if suppose I want to lose weight, that is a long term goal that is not going to happen overnight. Now, if I want to set my goals for every week, it has to be very precise. Like this week, mein, if suppose I am 95 then 95 kg that is my weight so this week may i have to go to 94 this is my precise week by the end of saturday i am weighing myself and that has to be 90 from 95 that has to be 94 this is my precise week or suppose if i am in a project then this and this code i have to complete get it completed by thursday this is my precise goal for this week or suppose agar mujhe koi course banana hai Right? So I will be setting goals like by Tuesday, I'll be recording or I'll be done with the introduction part of the video. This is my one goal. Second is by the end of Thursday, I would have completed so and so portions of my course. By the end of Saturday, I would have completed so and so portions of my course. So this is the way I want you to write your goals very, very specifically. So that was point number one, setting goals. Point number two is planning the upcoming week. You see, you need to have a roadmap of the upcoming week. You need to know what and when are the things that you are doing in the upcoming week. What this does is this provides clarity. This does a lot of things. First of all, it stops you from procrastination. It protects your time and it provides clarity and schedule for the entire week. And if we don't do this, like just now I said that I, I, I need to make one to three goals for the upcoming week, right? But we also need to plan okay, to achieve these goals. What are the things, what are the actions that I'll be taking and when we are taking this action? For example, 95 kilos and 94 kilo hona in the upcoming week is my short term goal. But how will this achieve? On Monday, 
I'll be going to the gym on Tuesday. I'll be going to the gym Wednesday. I'll take rest. Thursday, I'll be going to the gym. Friday, I'll be going to the gym, and Saturday, Sunday, I'll, again, I'll take rest. This is planning for the week. And furthermore, be a specific. Okay, I'll do 30 minutes of cardio and 30 minutes of weight session on Monday. Again, on Tuesday, I'll do 30 minutes of cardio and 30 minutes of weight session. And then again on Thursday and Friday, I'll be doing weights more, I'll be doing cardio less. Or these are the things I want you to plan. Or other in the upcoming week, you have to upload a video. You are, if you are a content creator and you are creating videos, then on Mondays, I'll be writing the script. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll be focusing my energy, I'll be focusing my time on writing the script for the upcoming video. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is a script writing. Thursday is I'll be shooting and Friday, Saturday, I'll be editing the video and on Sunday, I'll be uploading the video. So this is the planning that you need to sit and do for the upcoming week. And if we don't schedule, if we don't plan, then we will find that we have wasted a lot of time on low priority tasks. And thereby, this causes more friction to the short term goal that we had planned to achieve this week. And these things push our goal further. Jo Three months ka jo hamara target tha, the long term goal jo three months ka tha, these things will push it to five months. And jo hum three months ke baad, after achieving this target, jo hum third month ya fourth month mein jo after achieving this jo hum start karne wale the, that gets pushed further. So these things will just delay your goals. And I'll give you a pro tip: protect your mornings, spend your mornings on performing the tasks that are most important to you, and the rest of the day will feel like a breeze. Point number three is reviewing the previous week. Sif aage dekhne se kaam nahi chalega. We also need to look back. Now on Sundays, ye point number one and point number two, alongside this, while we are doing, alongside this, we also need to gather valuable information on what went well and what did not go so well in the previous week so that we can improve this week. And that is because reflecting on your progress for few minutes can save you days, weeks or even months of hard work. And we learn from our mistakes and we should learn. And during these reflection sessions, ask yourself, did I achieve my goal? If no, then why not? What were those activities, persons or products which caused me to fail in my achievement? And not just that, ask yourself even this, okay, what were those activities or persons that helped you achieve your goal? As I said, what I did last week because I were able to achieve these short term goals. So identify both the positive and the negative things from the previous week so that this week you know what are the things that you will need to do more often and less often. Therefore, every Sunday, take few minutes on reviewing your previous week. Point number four is journaling. And this is extremely powerful for gaining mental clarity. Every Sunday for a few minutes, sit and brainstorm new ideas that you can implement to make your life better. That will ultimately make your life better. That will ultimately make your health better. That will make you wealthier. And make sure that you write these ideas down. You have an idea, you write them down. Because you see, brain is a wonderful place to have ideas. But it is not a place to store ideas. So when you have an idea, you take it out of your brain and write it down somewhere. And once you have all the ideas written down, think what are the ideas that you can actually implement. What are the ideas that you can actually work on. And what are the ideas that you want to delete. And if the idea is valuable, you turn those ideas into long term goals. And in turn, you turn these long term goals into short term goals. Make actionable steps. Schedule your weeks. short term goals ko kaise achieve karenge. Suppose you have a clinic and you are thinking on Sundays, ke how do I get more patients into the clinic? Clinic ko kaise ja sakta hai? So you get an idea, ke, okay, I'll go for Google listing. Google mein I need to make a profile. So write this thing down. Facebook mein I'll make a profile. Write this thing down. Instagram mein I'll make a profile. Write this thing down. I'll make few videos of my clinic. Write these things down. And then this is an idea. So Google mein listing ke liye, I need to search for SEO. I need to have an idea about SEO. Okay, what are the keywords that I should be using? Jiske wajah se when a patient search or when any person search, my profile shows up at the top of the list. So this way, I have gotten a new idea. Okay, I need to search for Google profile listings. Okay, how, I, how do I go about this? So I'll watch few videos, I'll go through few articles and I'll have a basic understanding that how 
लिस्टिंग करा जाता है सो दैट माई प्रोफाइल गोज अप सिमिलरली अगर मेरा कोई सेकेंड आइडिया आया सेकेंड थॉट आया कि आई नीड टू स्टार्ट ए स्मॉल बिजनेस नाउ वट बिजनेस शुड इट बी उसको कैसे करके करेंगे अगर ऑनलाइन कोचिंग का बिजनेस है तो वट आर द थिंग्स वट आर द इनग्रीडियंट दैट आई नीड टू गेट टूगेदर टू स्टार्ट दिस आई नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस Second of all, I need to understand about website. Third is, I need to take care of the faculties. So these are the few things that I want you to sit on Sundays for few minutes and brainstorm. The fifth point is reading. You see, हम दो तरह से सीखते हैं. एक अपनी mistakes से, अपनी गलतियों से, and second, दूसरों की गलतियों से. And life is too short कि हम सारी गलतियां खुद करें and then we learn from that. We need to be smart. We also need to learn from other people's mistakes, and the best way to do that is through reading. Learn from people who have walked the same path. Learn from their mistakes, and this way you can shortcut the success process. Just imagine how much would you learn if I would say that you have an entire month to spend with Bill Gates, or to spend with Steve Jobs, or to spend with Elon Musk. But that is not possible. That is not feasible actually. so what we can do is we can learn from the books they have written because most of the successful people and the highly productive people that we find they are highly productive and highly successful people have their books out we can learn about their entire life from their books we can learn their hardships they have mentioned their hardships they we can learn their habits what habits they inculcated what habits they form because of which they achieved what they have achieved what were their routines what were their thought process what were their mistakes so all of these things we can do by reading and abhi ke time mein i mean reading not only ke sirf books hai reading means learning aisa nahi ki agar book nahi pad rahe then you won't be successful nahi you need to have an open mind about learning that you need to learn agar books nahi pad rahe then abhi to bahut easy ho gaya hai jaise ki podcast wagaira bhi aa gaye hain so you can listen to post podcast you can listen to these books instead of reading so that can save a lot of time for you also so you need to develop this habit of learning so that was point number 5 reading or learning so these were the five habits or things that highly productive people do on sundays and if you actually do these things then you'll see that it won't take you more than 60 minutes let me know how you like the video give it a thumbs up if you like it share it with your friends and i'll see you in the next video